Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna talk about a new indie game that has all of the traits of a retro game. An MMORPG with a Ragnarok's type approach. This game is very stylized and the music and the content are very stylized, making it a good game. This is a brutally honest review of the game, Wings of Misadventure. However, I doubt if anyone will see it as a game that one can play for a long extended hours or have thousands of players at a time. The retro approach is something that'll hit the spot for many, but with all of these new games coming up, I'm sure that there will be people who'd love to play these sorts of games. I mean, we're in an era of virtual reality games, and this one's a 2D game. It is not a huge game, even though there's a visible dedication and time put into developing this, it's still an old retro game. This might upset new players, but people who are used to such games will surely have a good time. There are some good and bad things in the game, but that is true for every game regardless. But what strikes me is the feature where the loot is dropped on the ground and you have to pick it all up one by one and it can also be lootable by other players after a certain duration. This is strikingly similar to Ragnarok Online, which is very nostalgic and cool to play, but the navigation might get a bit tough for you as you can only move up, down, left, and right. Particularly if you're crossing bridges, it could get much harder to move. Well, it'll be alright once you get the hang of it, but that is a major negative point that might users not want to play the game anymore. Well, some players find it irritating when they cannot choose what they want to pick up, this further adds more pressure on the gamers or the players and not being able to maneuver easily. But in general, the game is built very well. As I said, the music and the artwork make it a good game to play overall. It doesn't look like a Pokemon Nintendo game, but the fact that it features an open world and not just zones that you have to advance through makes it exciting. The game, despite these minor retro errors, has some of the most responsive game interfaces and simplicity is a selling point here. It is an open world where you can see other people doing their quests, but I feel like the main selling point of the game is the fact that it is nostalgic. Now, the next thing that I want to talk to you about might not be a problem for you, but if you see recent games they have guides to help you find the way, but this one has nothing of that sort. You're on your own exploring and guessing the right place to advance through levels, and for some, it might not be a problem but a challenge, but there'll be nothing of that sort whatsoever. I feel like the newer games are focused on the graphics and visual aspects so much that sometimes it gets hard to add that effect. But I personally like the type of games that'll make me think of what I'm doing and where I'm going and then sometimes retrace my step back as I made a wrong turn. Not just the arrow pointing me in the right direction to fight a boss and then game over. Essentially, we're just being spoon fed in the game as well, which might be a good thing for a lot of people but me, it takes out that extra grind. Well, let me know in the comments below, do you like a game with guidelines and pointers where you follow markers blindly, or a game where you're completely on your own? The game might be a bit laggy in some regions, but the game is casual and does not require 60 FPS or high ping, it's just a relaxing game. Overall, the game is gathering and crafting type game, and everything looks artistic and visually appealing. Did I miss anything? Let the viewers know in the comment section below. What do you think about the game? Rate it out of 10 to let our viewers know if they should play the game or pass. So, that's gonna do it guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and make sure to hit that subscribe button and press that notification bell, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.